This winter, the winter of 2025 through 2026 is going to be anything but typical. As I explained in my last winter forecast video, we are dealing with what I like to call a ghostly La Nina this year. It barely made the threshold, sitting at just about 0.3 degrees below normal temperatures in the Pacific. But here's what La Nina does even when it's weak. It pushes the jet stream north. That means that storm systems take a more northerly route across the country instead of cutting through the south. You get a cold in the north and warm in the south pattern. Now, here's the secret weapon that's got me so confident in this forecast. It's called the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, or the PDO. Think of this as La Nina's big brother. La Nina affects just a small box of water in the equatorial Pacific area, and it changes from year to year. Now, the PDO affects the entire North Pacific Ocean, and it shifts over the course of 20 to 30 years. And right now, we are in the strongest negative PDO phase that we've seen in years. And a negative PDO pretty much does the exact same thing as as La Nina, cold in the north, warm in the south, and a more northern storm track. It's kind of like having two voices singing the same song. It increases the signal, even if one of those voices is a little bit quieter in the background. The PDO is going to reinforce everything that La Nina was already trying to do. And that's why even with a weak La Nina, I'm betting on that more northerly storm track this year.